for those of you who are taking class with me, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about how to go about linking a video in Sway. Some of the activities uh, that we'll be working on this semester will involve Sway, and many times it will include also linking a video, and I want to show you some of the steps that you can follow to make that happen. Now, just a general overview, The generally speaking, the two types of videos that I'll ask you to include in your Sway will be one conversational and the other presentational. The conversational videos will be those that include more informal conversations, more spontaneous speech. Uh, maybe it's in the planning. Maybe there are long pauses between when people are speaking. And so it's more informal in nature. It's more conversational. The second type of video, the presentational, is more formal, less pauses between uh, the speakers. There's a very clear and, and organized way of presenting one's ideas, hence the word presentational. So make sure that when you're including any videos in a sway that you're clear on which type of video that you should be including. All right, so in this example, I'm going to show, show you how to bring in a recording from Microsoft Teams. Many of the recordings that I'm going to ask you to include in a sway will actually be generated within Microsoft Teams. Those meetings that you include in your breakout rooms that are recorded uh, today, I want to show you how you can link those to a Sway. All right, so the first thing I would check is when you're looking for the link, all right, if you click on the ellipsis here, uh, you can click copy the link and copy this link here just as it, as it is. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you another step just in case that doesn't work. Any of the links that you include in the Sway, and we'll look at that here in a minute, how to insert a link in Sway, but make sure you're testing the links. And if for any reason this link that I just shared here, just by clicking on Copy Link, if that doesn't work, then I would suggest that you open up this same video in SharePoint. Remember, SharePoint is just kind of the back end of Microsoft Teams. So all the files that you're... Uh, using in Teams actually reside in SharePoint. So now we're looking at the same files in SharePoint. We're going to again click on the ellipsis and notice we have a few more options. Okay, so this is helpful if you need access to these additional options that are not apparent or not available to you within Microsoft Teams. All right, so here we're going to, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but um, let's look at clicking here, Share. Now, when you click share, make sure that you click people in our university with this link. You do not have to click allowing, although you could, but for our purposes, for this um, sharing of a video, it's not necessary. So just select this option and apply and then copy link. Copy again. And now you have copied the link. You could go directly to this icon, this shared icon. And pretty much do the same. Click here, apply, copy, and copy again. All right, so we've we have copied the link. Now we're going to go into Sway, and if you're in your home page, Microsoft 365, you can access your Sways here along the left hand side of your screen. Oops, not that. So let's try. There's actually there's SharePoint. It looks like almost the same icon, but not quite. So here we go into, let's say we open up a new Sway, start editing, and wait for it. There we go. And just for the sake of this example, we're going to click a text here. You want to include some kind of you know text, depending on what you're explaining. And we're going to select the text. We're going to click link. Copy and paste that link in. And then we're going to test it. So we open up the Sway, go to the link, and maybe the first time it, it asks you about whether or not you want to trust the link. And we want to select yes, of course, and then it should take the user to the Sway. All right, so that's basically it. I think that's the, the easiest and best way to share videos. 
Um, there are probably other ways to do it if you're going to include videos in YouTube. I'm not going to go into that at this point. Today, I just wanted to share an easy way to include a link for those of you who are generating uh, videos within Microsoft Teams and you want to bring those links into Sway. To my knowledge, at this point, I uh, have yet to find a way to embed these same videos within Sway. I don't think that's possible. Uh, I was even looking at perhaps looking at uh, stream videos, uh, the Microsoft stream feature or function. Uh, those videos, there are ways to embed it, but I don't think that that works in Sway at the time of this recording. So I think this will work. This will um, be easy enough for the users to be able to access the videos that you're generating and, and, and want to bring in those videos into the Sway. Now, if you're also including audio, it should be a very similar uh, process, okay? You would include, let's say, an MP3 or a WAV audio file that you have maybe in your breakout rooms in uh, Teams. And I think you can go through that same process of sharing, just making sure that you're selecting people within, in our case, the university, uh, so that those of us students and teachers alike who have accounts with Microsoft 365 who have signed in, they should be able to access that link. It is important that the user is signed in to Microsoft 365 in order to open up that link. Um, otherwise, obviously, they won't. It's not a public link. It's not uh, available to the public. Only those who have a university account. So I hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions or issues, uh, regarding this process, feel free to reach out to me. Again, those who, those of you who are taking classes with me, the best way to reach me is via chat in Microsoft Teams.